Welcome to MMORPG Comms Into the Melding, Episode 7, a Firefall podcast presented by Sitting on a Couch. I am Lemons. I'm Nakiato here, and hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Terracon4. Hey. And I'm Soup. Hello. Welcome, uh, guest superior. Soup? Um, we, we have dinner. All right. Yes. Yes, we get to eat soup. I'm always so hungry. No. You have to catch him before you can eat him, and good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, Soup seems like the kind of guy that I'd get into world, world, um, like the open world PvP, and I'd be like, well, Soup's on? Okay, I'm, I'm logging off. I'll, I'll see you in a few hours when Soup's not on. Like, he seems like that kind of guy that I'd just be like, you know what, he's on. It's not worth it. I'm just going to I'll play later. It's not worth playing against him. That's a quitter's attitude. You need to just get better. <laughs> get good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get good at your shit. It's not like you're going to be beating him in a one on rule and duel consistently quickly, but if you have someone else with you, or depending on the situation, you can overcome skill differences every so often. Yeah. Or, or, or you could just be good. Uh, that, that's an option, too. Uh, <laughs> but that takes time. Mm, mm. Yeah, you just have to try hard enough. You just, you try, if you just try hard enough, anybody can be good at anything that, you, uh, instantaneously. You just gotta try really, really hard. It's no, like moving things with your mind. If you just if you just concentrate hard enough, you can actually move things with your mind. Try it. Right now at home, try it. I'm concentrating and my right. hand is moving my mouse. <laughs> this is true. You see this? I'm firing energy, neurons, <laughs> muscle manipulation. Yeah, you could be Iron Man if you just believe <laughs> hard enough. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to this conversation. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you people? No, a lot of everything. Everything. everybody I just sucks at PvP, okay? Especially you, lemons, only being level twenty-five and shit. I'm sorry, the lag, the grinding takes forever in this game. That's why I need to hey, focus on hey, one aim. I got a rhino up to. F I'm almost forty, and it took like two days. So it took me fourteen hours to get from fifteen to forty. So, I'm sorry, I can't no life the game. No life. The g 14 hours is not a lot of time, it's like, sir. Yeah, it's like three days of playing. <laughs> it is when you only have two days, two two days, two hours per day, maybe to to play the game. That's like a whole week. Okay, so that's 14 hours a week. You need to go be and you playing can play like for Hello Kitty Isla Online Adventures or something, man. Like you, you take that back. That game is awesome. <laughs> you don't. You don't have time to be playing something as simple to grind as Firefall. Then you. You shouldn't well, be playing MMOs at all. The problem for me is that, to a certain extent at least, Firefall is a lot of the same exact thing over and over and over again. Especially when the campaign stops at, what, 20? 22? 23? 24. 24? Mm -hmm. It's kind of a little bit annoying because I'd, like I'd like to be able to go into PvP and level up in PvP or do something. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, but there is no scaling up in PvP. Nope. Nope. You have to be level 40, or you're going to die. Yeah, hey. that's what I'm saying. Hey, I was rolling around as level 36. I still did pretty good. I died I mean, a lot, but... You, uh, you but can yeah. shoot, but... I got, like, I got like one it. kill. I was, like, uh, I was doing, like, one in ten. Like, I wasn't that bad. I got, like, five kills. I even killed Programmer at level 36. I was like, yes! <laughs> you're dead! <laughs> he, he may have been preoccupied. But... He tends to be AFK a lot of the time when he's there. <laughs> yeah, he, was... he may have not been at the keyboard at the time, but, he... you know, he semantics. Was... He was there, but uh, <laughs> he was just at the at the PvP vendor. So... Oh. <laughs> yeah. But that brings us into our first topic, open world PvP and what's good about it, what's bad about it, what do we want to change, what do we want to keep, what what can we add to other aspects of PvP and make PvP all around better? Because in a game like Firefall, I think P more PvP would be a good thing. I don't think there's a whole lot of people that would argue with me. And I'm a big PvE guy, and I still think PvP would be a good thing to add to the game. So, See, my thing about it is people that like to complain about PvP have to realize one thing. PvP is optional. You can play PvP, or you can completely avoid it. And that's the way it was in Firefall. Now, oh, but all of the development time goes towards PvP. You know, you guys aren't focusing on this. You guys are balancing for PvP and killing fun abilities and so on and so forth. But it's just like, 
Okay. Will you ever think that PvE is also hurting us, too? People that like PvP? I mean, I don't want to have two separate, entirely separate games here. Like, I want one simple, easy game. Now, if we have to have something like, I don't know, regulation gear, uh, or... Hey, maybe abilities that are completely unbalanced get fixed. Then cool. Like I'm, I'm totally down for stuff like that. But I don't know. Sorry, little tangent right there. <laughs> well, no, and okay, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. What do you guys? Th what is your personal opinion on separate skills, separate gear, separate whatever for PvP? I'm positive for it, but I don't like it when they take the completely you only have one preset option because like when they did that a long time ago i used to originally play i believe it was the tiger claw i love playing tiger claw but then they went and made it so you could only use the preset abilities and i wasn't as big of a fan because i always loved having crater but that was only on the accord assault so i'm like the idea of having the preset abilities so that you know you can't completely play with stuff to the point that it's imbalanced but I still like to have some choice, so... Okay, let me add, you have one of every skill at level 40, and once each of every of one skill and each prefix. So, for instance, but... but no prefixes. Modules. Yeah. No, or, I, I like prefixes because then you can kind of play with your abilities a little bit, but, but no but modules. Pre prefixes can cause a lot of problems in PvP. Prefixes yeah. in PvP should not be okay. a thing. Uh, same, I'd say just one of each ability. It's same thing with uh, like modules and so on and so forth. Don't don't allow modules in in uh, regulation PvP gear. Uh, and the reason why is because think about it. If you're playing around a jet ball, your entire objective is to get to the other side of the map so you can throw the ball through the hoop or fly through the hoop. Okay. Okay, so now you have an assault that has four freaking charges of uh, afterburner. Well, there you go. There's the entire map just cleared. Okay, you just have to have one freaking assault and you're done. Or just fill up ten trail blazes all over the place. Yeah, I, no. No, completely, completely remove modules from PvP. So yeah, um, I think they'd have to. There'd have to definitely be some sort of rules uh, that were just specific to arena PvP, like afterburners. Definitely back to one charge. Um, double afterburner, even I think would like really break, especially jet ball. Um, nothing would be able to really catch that double afterburner. So like things like that would have to change. I'm not sure how they would do. Um, like, I like the, you know, everyone has access to, like, every ability. If I choose Assault, I can choose what abilities I want. But then you also have to think, once again, uh, three movement abilities. Should that be allowed? I think that would kind of depend on the map and the, the game type, too. So, uh, I think, yeah, I agree with the no prefixes, no mods. I think perks can work, not at the start. I think uh, the perks right now in the game are kind of uh, half-assed, I guess, <laughs> is, like, the nicest way I can say it. Um, some of them are really awful, some of them are like amazing, um, and a lot of the class specific perks really suck for that class, and it doesn't make sense to me. Like, and then uh, you have Rhino. Yeah, exactly, and then you have Rhino. But, I think perks Rhino's could awesome. be done. I think they could make <laughs> PvP perks later down the road. At the beginning though, just, you know, focus on the core of the game with the balance of the abilities and stuff. And then later on, you can add things for more customization-related things like perks that can change, um, like, you know, I want more jet energy or something. You can get a perk for that. Or I want, I don't know, like anything, health regen or something. Just PvP yeah, health regen is bonus to move after abilities or stuff, yeah, like, stuff that. like that. Just some basic customization for how your play style works. Cause, yeah. And the thing with prefixes, too, is, like, right now, every patch adds, like, a new prefix. Elemental prefix patch effectively killed PvP for a couple weeks. Um, we used to always run like 10v10s, 20v20s with like the Nia army and AOD and stuff. And that pretty much just stopped as soon as 1.1 hit because of the new elemental prefixes. It completely destroyed balance and what we knew. Like whatever was left of balance was completely gone. Uh, it's either poison or go home. Uh, if you didn't use poison, you were dead is what it came down to. Eventually they hot fixed it, but it was kind of too late. Uh, stuff like that will keep ruining your game. Like you get close to balance, and then you add one one little thing. You add like uh, with Jetball, they added the arsenal. What happened with the arsenal? Completely dominated, right? Everyone was playing arsenal like the first week that it came out. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's why they need to just start small and slow and uh, add on to it. Actually, and listen to their PTS testing also. Yeah. Can uh can you do me a favor? Can you turn down your audio just ever so slightly? I think it's uh I think it's a bit too loud. Um. Uh, the this? microphone. Yeah. Yeah. The I don't microphone. notice it. Well, and I think that's part of the problem when you have when you have when you when trying to make both really good PVE and PvP content at the same time, is that you work too much on PvP and the PvE get players get mad. You work too much on the PvE and the PvP players get mad. Um, you're trying to work on balancing PvE and PvP, and then sometimes you split the split the um, skills, and then you have a PvP version of the skills and a PvE version of the skills, and then you have to worry about both sides of the skills, and when you update a skill or add new prefixes, you have to worry about both sides of the skills. And stuff, and I guess that's the problem with having both PVE and PVP, and that's one of the reasons that MOBAs are so easily competitive is that you're only worried about the PVP because there is no PVE. And there's they are killing forward. mobs and minions, but that's it. Yeah, that, yeah, but that's not really PVE. You're still you're, there's still players somewhere nearby, ninety eight percent of the time. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who actually just only play versus bots for their daily games in the like, League of Legends. Of the Greg, you're way too quiet. Yep. I cannot hear you. Yeah, turn it now. Sorry. Uh, I, but I am, I'm like a bot somewhere master. right in the middle of there. <laughs> um, a little bit louder. A little bit higher. We're almost there. Good. More? All right, Slightly right there. More. Yeah, a little more would be nice. Right. Uh, uh. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, right, that's right, right I'd about say there. slightly more, but yeah, it's a it's about. I feel like Nakiyoto is just hearing you louder than everyone else is. We'll see. You also have that's to remember though it goes. that it doesn't go any higher. Oh, I have the uh, um my headphones. You know, that's the one that the the stream is hearing. So if one person is much louder than the other people, then I just have to try and even everybody out. So that's why I was saying turn it down a little bit. But, all right, yes, get to it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, with PvE stuff, I think a lot of the PvE stuff was broken, too, that they kind of nerfed. Uh, AoE, in my opinion, made PvE really stupid. Uh, you'd go into Warfront, and you'd be able to just right-click every single Chosen. There are people on the forums who are like, oh, that was fun. I guess Red 5 has to kind of decide for themselves there. Do we think this is fun or do we not? I thought that sucked. I thought that was stupid and that ruined PvE for me in this game. I thought it kind of made it face roll if I could right click and hit every mob with poison. Um, so I, I don't know. Some people enjoy that though. I don't. It's, so. it's like cheating in a game. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like in Fallout, if you get infinite fat mans for the nuclear battle miniature short amount of nuclear launcher, it's fun to just go on a spin, blow everything up for a few minutes, but for any long term play, it doesn't last. I like to watch my. I like to see large amounts of enemies slowly die. See, that's that's the thing about um, AOE is uh, a lot of people like to complain about AOE. I don't necessarily think that AOE is bad in the game. I think it's slightly stronger than it needs to be, but it's not necessarily bad. Uh, but the main problem is we have too many AOE mobs. Everybody just charges in. We've got, or anytime we get we get flooded by enemies, that's it. We get flooded by enemies. We get five of this mob and five of that one, and then one boss mob that's over here. So you actually have to focus on killing one thing while you know you just AOE everything else down, and that is kind of the issue. There is the majority of the game can just be used, or you can just use AOE to wipe everything out. You only need the AoE, you don't have to switch to a single target focus. It's exactly. like, if you can switch between abilities or switch between weapons, then you're actually, you know, putting in more active thought and it's interesting play. But if you can just sit there with one weapon spamming a single button on everything and it's the best option, then it's not so fun. See, now you can really tell that that's the case because, uh, for example, if you bring any of those AoE frames into... Um, into Broken Peninsula, where you're first players, uh, that AoE can be nice if you don't have aim, but other than that, you're gonna get dominated by someone else. So. Guess who has no aim? Yeah. That is my opinion about it. 
So I am all for AoE. Everything should be AoE. No single target damage. Absolutely none. Whatsoever. Then, yeah. <laughs> you really don't want PvP back in the game then. <laughs> yeah, a lot I told of the, you I'm a uh, PvE guy. A lot of the maps would not be playable because of how much AoE there is in the game right now. Not to mention um, the move speed. Like, OCs and the move speed, too. Move speed, I think, is... This is something I found really weird, is back when Jet Balls were on, they had a really high speed, right? And they nerfed it because they said it's too fast. This game is faster than I've ever seen right now. <laughs> and I found that to be really strange. It's because too many people complained about it for the new player experience type stuff. So yeah. they they boosted it up, and then the run speed... Uh, the yeah, run speed cores actually increase it significantly, and so do the perks, and so on and so forth. So they um, they kind of backtracked on their previous statements, but it's a good portion of that is because one people were leaving, and two PVP is now gone. So well, you know, at the time, still kind of kind of not there. I consider Broken Peninsula, as much as I find it enjoyable, I consider it more of a PvE zone than anything. I completely uh, agree. Because well, think about all of the mechanics that go into Broken Peninsula. It's a really, really fun, cool zone, but your main objective there is to capture bases and capture towers. Now, to capture these bases and towers, you have to destroy these generators and these solar panels and then uh, take the base over and whatnot wait for it to count down and really the only thing that you're trying to wait for is players to come in and you have to stop those players but that's that's about it and then after that you've got to go collect resources to keep the base powered uh, if you want any kind of upgrades like MGVs or so on and so forth you have to do this PVE content and then when you're running around, you've got all kinds of uh, PvP or PVE um, uh, dynamic events and so on and so forth, spawning like chosen thumpers or uh, what's it called, um, bandit ambushes and just all kinds of stuff like that. So. You want to drive your majority. vehicle out against some players and you're just hitting random landmines along the way. Exactly. Now, well, all right, that vehicle that I now just spent the last 20 minutes trying to make is dead because I hit a goddamn landmine. So, uh, And then also, not being able to use vehicles in open world. No. Oh, holy crap, that sucks. Yeah, I don't I know why it. they got rid of LGVs. Yeah. I, like, I, gliders I, is understandable. Like, well... Gliders in combat is understandable, but LGVs, I don't know, I thought they were easy to kill. You can shoot people off of them. Yeah. They take a second to deploy and get onto. I didn't think vehicles were a problem. I can see gliders being a problem in combat. You know, I gliding think in the, the idea was to increase the focus of the base upgrading so that people get yeah, the vehicles there. That was exactly But the it reason. doesn't work. They're forcing Broken Peninsula into something it's really not, and I don't think the game is kind of built for. It's... Um, those bases, like like he said, it's a PVE zone, really. There's no reason to attack them, really. There's no reason to defend them. There's no reason to PvP in general. It's just, you go there, people just PvP for fun. That's the only reason people can go out there. But uh, if you're going there to like, actually get rewards and stuff, the best way to do that is to not PvP. Is you Try. go, you grab a base, and you, and you uh, thump. That's it. You don't actually fight. Because the fighting gets you absolutely nothing but resonators, which are good for 40 XP. Cool. 40 XP in a level 40 zone. And you are completely correct. Um, try set setting up a sinful Sunday one day. Just try. Like, uh, I focus on Broken Peninsula, and I have a bunch of people on my friends list. Um, I have AOD behind me, and the only person that I can get to join me for a sinful Sunday is Valentina from MOC. <laughs> like, come on. It, People don't want to go out there anymore, and it's it's just showing that the idea and the premise behind uh, this PVE PVP zone is kind of failing, and uh, it's unfortunate because it it is a fun zone, but it's not fun enough to keep the players' attention, or there's just too many issues out there right now that it's it's just. 
making players avoid it, you know? Um, uh, like, when, when both crowds, PvE and PvP, are not enjoying it, you kind of... It's kind of obvious you're not doing something right. Yeah. Um, uh, honestly, I can't find too many people that actually say I enjoy it. It's fun every once in a while, right? Terracon, we went out there. Yeah, it was fun to jump in and screw around with people. But the thing I haven't is, you know, shot with other players in a while, yeah. but it wasn't by any means a competitive type of. Yeah, and we weren't it's doing like Broken thing. Peninsula. We just said, "Hey, this is where we are. Come fight!" Right? We didn't really yeah, leave. Yeah, it was anything. just randomly shooting people. That yeah, was it. it that, that's what arena pretty much is. You go and you just randomly shoot, but you give us this big empty zone full of broken mechanics and we're just going to try to turn it into an arena fight like hey this is where we are everyone come fight here because that's, there's the, that's so fun. much empty space exactly that it takes ages to find people like there was apparently a, since you had the add-on you could tell there was i think six on our no seven on ours six on one team and nine on another team yeah. and yeah i'd been standing around in there waiting for one of our other people to get on for 20 minutes and you were the only other person i'd seen that entire time because you and that was specifically because we joined up at that base. In the exactly. middle of a base, no one else comes by. Yeah, Cornboy's, I don't know, Cornboy seems like he's really stuck on this idea, even though I just don't see it happening ever. Especially one, because you don't have the population, not even close. You don't even have close to the population needed to make that zone work, if the zone was actually working in the first place. Not with it being as large as it is. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And, I don't know, like the, the way the combat in the game works, especially now with all these new prefixes coming out, mods... Perks, like, even the new Halloween perk, holy fuck, that sounds crazy. Like, going invisible as soon as you hit 50% HP. It Why? Is, it is kind of nice that it has 120 second cooldown. Yeah, that's cooldown, true. Though. But still, like... Invisible Mammoth, what are you thinking? Yeah, I don't know. Like, the, combat, even worse. the combat just it doesn't fit for this, in, in my opinion. I don't know. I played... I, I feel like I played enough to understand what the combat, what each frame is capable of, and I just don't see this zone working ever. Mm -hmm. And I I can pretty much see that as well. And you were saying that we we don't really have the player base for something that big. I definitely agree. Um, honestly, I I uh, okay. And it's, this is one of the hard parts. Is uh, during beta, everybody everybody was just like, oh my god, this is so exciting having um, having the idea of an open world PvP zone come into the game. It'll give us something to do, it'll give us some kind of end game content and so on and so forth. And everybody bought into the idea of it. And they kept on trying to push it and push it and everybody wanted it. And then it comes out and everybody's just like, meh. And the, the annoying part is we had arena. We had arena PvP. And Somehow, apparently, there was only 3% of the population playing that, uh, but it was enjoyable. It was like 10 times more enjoyable than what we have now. And as much that as was... I saw people complaining about it, it was more complaining about uh, how it's not really an eSport or um, they need to focus on balance or something like that, whereas... Uh, so the, it's like two things that we're having people complain about arena and here's open world pvp and we've got people complaining about balance we've got people complaining about the uh, dynamic events we've got people complaining about this that and the like we we have people complaining about a lot more about open world pvp than arena and at least with arena after you sat in a queue for like 10 minutes anywhere from uh, Two minutes to ten minutes, you got into a PvP match that was and much, were much very more good. enjoyable. It would be fun. Yeah. Or you could just get friends in one v one, two v two, anything like set your own rules. You just got in and you could play, right? With BP, it's uh, are you level forty? No, you can't play. Are you yeah. over nine hundred power rating? No, sorry, you can't compete. Um, do you have friends? No, okay, have fun, <laughs> have fun trying to solo all those people. Uh, oh. Do you have an add on that lets you see how many people are in the zone? No. Have fun trying to find anyone. Like, it, it's so stupid. Like, there's nothing there to do. It's just an empty zone with usually less than 10 players. And if there are players, they're usually playing the, abusing the, like, the really strong frames at that time. Which, you know, yeah. first we had a lot of raptors. Now if you got there, how many raptors do you see? None, right? Then we right. saw recluses. How many recluses do you see out there? Maybe one or two. And now we have dragonflies and rhinos. How many do you see of those? Pretty much, like, so, most of the people out there. And Tiger Claws. 
Yeah, and Tiger Claw. I too, take that but. offensively. Tiger Claw or a uh, Dragonfly and Rhino are the only two frames I have high level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. I'm just saying, like, that's when you see, like, the most of As long as you don't play the Dragonfly in its broken way, I don't care. And I yeah. don't. If you that's watch Sinful nerfed. Sunday, you definitely yeah. know that I don't play it in its broken way. It's getting way. changed. Uh, on PTS, I don't think you can get HKM charge from healing yourself anymore, which fixes a lot of the problems that it had. People are getting HKM charge in five seconds on Electron and, and Dragonfly. They both work the same way. Mm. So five seconds to get your HKM charge. It took about four or five of us to be able to kill one dragonfly, which is pretty sad. Yeah. That or we'd have... It just came down to either, you know, we have a mob of people running after one target, either just a long time of continuously trying to break them down, mostly just came down to the luck of whenever multiple people happen to, echo, you know, use several... Time. Yeah, yeah, like if I use the uh, missile shot and direct it with a fusion cannon yeah. at the same time that someone else goes and uses their burst, then that's usually the only exactly. way. Exactly, that's like the only way to kill is if everyone bursts at the same time. Besides yeah, that, they'll just go right back up DPS the DPS isn't actually enough, though. Yeah. Well, and I think part of the problem is when they make it 40 only content, there are players that will come and join the game and they'll play for four or five hours. And this game is pretty fun. Let me try out the PvP. What? Level 40? Screw that! I'm not playing. I'm not playing until level 40 just to play PVP. A lot of them want to play the PVP. A lot of them want to get into the PVP. And when you have to be level 40, that's hard to do. And then when, if you want to play a different frame, you have to get that frame up to level 42. Like, come it's on, Red Five, right, restricting I've, people too much here. The only people who are going to play PVP are the ones who usually want to play PVP. The people players yeah. though who come into the game wanting to play PVP and can't play it at first, they're not going to bother leveling up, which means that by the time you reach endgame, you only have PVE players yeah. for the most part, so you're not going to have many people interested. In yeah, the and PvP. you're not only leveling one frame, you're leveling all the frames you need for the perks, too. So it's like, not only do I have to level one frame to 40, I also have to level every other uh, every other class just for the perks that I need to be able to fight in PvP and actually compete with people. Yeah. Which is which is why a system like Guild Wars 2, I feel like, could be perfect for Firefall. If you've ever seen um, the, the structured PvP um, of Guild Wars 2, they do... Um, you pick whatever weapon you want, you pick whatever skills, perks, traits, whatever you want, and they never once restrict you by how much gold you have, what level you are, nothing. If I wanted to, I could create a brand new account, hop into PV structured PvP, and destroy people if I'm good at PvP. At no point does the game ever time gate you. Yeah. And I like to see that firefall. You know, you walk up to a crate, crate say, okay, I want to play as a recluse with a bio needler, and want this, 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 and this puck, and I want this, this, this skill, go out and play. Level 40, same playing field as everybody else. I'm, you get EXP that you can spend towards any of your any of your frames you want. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and agree with you, just because uh, I, I like the fact that any level player can play with any other level player. And when you have a, when you have a small population like we do, uh, that actually makes it so a lot more people can play together. Now, I'm totally going to play the um, back in my day card. See, back in my day, we, uh, we never had any of this complaining bullshit about having to be a certain level because in WoW, to be in the PvP zone, Solithus, you had to be high level. You had to be level 50 plus, you know, all the way to 60 to even compete in this PvP zone. Now... That said, Solithus failed. Solithus failed hard. Uh, after the first month or two, when uh, everybody stopped caring about that zone, really, uh, it it didn't have any more traffic. Nobody nobody went there. And especially after Burning Crusade came out, hey, guess what? Everybody else was going out to, uh, you know... <laughs> uh... Uh... Oh, the Scorched crap. Lands. I yeah, forget the name oh, of that zone. How am I forgetting the name of that entire zone? Uh, Outlands. Everybody was going out to Outlands. So there's this PvP zone that they spent a lot of time actually trying to, to balance and make fun and everything. And all the time was just wasted now that, you know, we have Outlands. So it, when you think about it like that... Uh, 
do you really want to spend a bunch of time trying to make this zone fun that nobody really finds fun? I mean, like, it's fun. It's fun. And, and we do need something like this. But, like I said earlier, we just don't have the player base to support such a pig zone with so many different, like, corporations and teams and so on and so forth in this zone. You know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well... And the thing about WoW is they still have battlegrounds. They still have, you know, because I believe you can start let PvP at what level, like ten, I think. You can start PvP pretty early in that game. I mean, you can get to level ten well, you can, within you can, an hour or two. You can start at ten, but you can get pretty, pretty uh, demolished at level ten, especially with how many twinks there are running around in the uh, lower level brackets like that. And I'm just gonna oh. say this right now. <laughs> I think brackets in battlegrounds or arena type environment is crap i hate brackets i think brackets are one of the stupidest things when it comes to pvp because you you again are segregating your players way too much uh the only reason it works for wow is because they have what well, i think they still have like eight million subscribers or some shit like that mm -hmm. so that's eight million players that you can have scattered throughout how many ever different battlegrounds and all uh, in this game, <laughs> let's just pray we never get, you know, um, uh, level lockouts like WoW has, because you would literally be sitting in a queue for, like, an hour trying to get into one match to play with people your level. Well, and can I go on a small rant here? Heirloom Gear is dumb. Makes no sense whatsoever. It only benefits players have been playing forever, especially when, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can bring those into PvP as far as I know, correct? Heirloom Gear? Heirloom Gear was, as I recall, I think they changed some of it with the uh, after Panda and other stuff, but uh, I don't remember the name to it, I just call it the Panda Patch. Uh, but before then, Heirloom Gear was, while not bad, it was by no means the best in slot, so if you actually had a, even a half-built PvP character, you'd still dominate someone who was using Heirloom Gear. After yeah. then, I don't know, but... I mean, yeah, but I don't... Heirloom Gear was nice, and it, it was definitely great for leveling, but that's the thing, is all of the stats on it were really focused around leveling frame... or, not nah, leveling classes, there we go. <laughs> uh, and not really focused on your damage output, and that was... That and it was didn't have any resistance, if I recall. Well, at low levels, resistance really didn't matter because nobody had resistance. It was more about either getting as much stam or as much damage output as humanly possible. And um, and the only reason I know this is because I, I twinked a few characters. Uh, <laughs> I, the truth comes out. I had uh, a rogue at level 29. I had two epic daggers on him. I had Wait, was... Yeah, no. Two epic daggers, uh, epic helm, epic pants, and the rest were all blues. So, I I demolished anything in PvP in that game. And it was actually... You know, I feel bad about it now because it... It was so unbalanced that anybody that made it into the level 20 level bracket, I just wipe the floor with and they they didn't come to pvp again you know i ran into one guy three matches in a row and he actually got into a yelling contest with me and he was like no fuck this game and like, <laughs> it was that bad so uh i really hope we don't see something like that happen in this game because it, w it wouldn't survive something like that yeah firefall definitely doesn't need more segregation like that Enough, though, back to Firefall. This is now a World of Warcraft podcast, probably. Yeah. <laughs> All <Okay>. right. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, okay, so I guess that's up to me. You know what's something that... Fi that uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Final Fantasy XIV and Realm Reborn, but there is one thing that is really cool. When you have a high-level class, all the other classes that you try to level, level quicker based on what level that class is. I would love to see that in Firefall. You have one level 40 frame, all your other frames level 50 cent faster, or whatever. I wouldn't. Uh, and the reason why I wouldn't is just because... Um, <laughs> the, 
the reason why I wouldn't is just because we we don't have a lot of content in the game. Leveling is a huge part of the content for a good majority of the players. So if we remove, you know, that content or if we remove or if we speed up that process of everybody leveling, then um, we kind of shoot ourselves in the foot a bit. Because think about how many threads go up on the forums of, oh, hey, I just got all my frames to 40. I now have nothing to do. I'm taking a break for quite a while. Now imagine those threads going up much quicker because people are getting to max level faster. I don't think we need to be le having people level faster, personally. But my counter argument is... I'm level 25 with my fire cat. I think my fire cat might be 26, and I'll say my recluse is level 25, and I'm kind of bumped out on leveling. Like I'm kind of like, I want to hit some end game. I want to be able to, you know, level up some some other frames a little bit quicker. I want to be able to start doing some some DP. I want to be able to be be able to do all this other stuff when I'm kind of stuck at the beginning of such such how and I'm kind of like, kind of want to do something else. To be fair, you kind of did that to yourself, though. <laughs> you to one you frame. just yeah, exactly. You just said that you got this frame up to this level, and you got this frame up to level twenty-five as well. And then you also admit that you're an altaholic. You love leveling alts. Now, when you take all of your time leveling and you stick it on all of your different frames. Of course you're not going to have one at max level. Of course you're not going to be able to do like end game content or raiding or anything else of that matter. Uh, and I should also point out that your method is especially uh, good for burning out because you like to level all your frames at like the same level amount. You know, you have everything up yeah. to 5, then everything up to 10. That means you're playing the same absolute yeah. same content that over many times over. over. If I use alts, over. I get one character up to max. Then I'd be doing another character up to max, and when I want to do some endgame content, I'd jump over to that character. But then I can go back to leveling. But the key part is that I'm not redoing the same area of the leveling content several times over in immediate succession. It's all spread out and varied. It's, it's actually one of the reasons why, um, why people that have game testing jobs absolutely hate their jobs, is because they're given... Uh, one specific part of the video game to play and that is all they play over and over a hundred times over. yeah and then once you play that specific part a hundred times you're done with it you never want to see that portion of the game again and that's the kind of the issue that you're running into right now is you're leveling all of these different frames in the same area uh, after you get one up to this you're just like eh, and then go back and then you level another one and another one and another one and another one and then you just ran this area this short small couple hour area multiple times and you just burnt yourself out so like i said you kind of did it to yourself just put it i actually there. do that for my leveling though <laughs> for my rhino i leveled from 18 to 40 all in sunken harbor I never left Sunken Harbor. I never bought any gear. I was level 14 gear the entire way through, from 18 to 40. Nice. Well, That's uh, impressive in a sad way. But also, there's a certain, in, at least in my opinion, there's a certain lack of um, diversity of content, especially after 25 when you stop getting the campaign missions because you have jobs and you have the events, and that is it, pretty much. If you want to do much of anything else... There's not really anything you can do once you hit 25. It's from 25 to 40. It's events and it's the dynamic events and it's the jobs and that's it. And I mean, there is some difference to jobs and events and whatever, but for the most part, it's the same thing over and over and over again. And I'd like to see, you know, at least a little bit more um, variance. Um, you know, a little bit some new stuff. I think some too bad. PvP. I think it varies from Sertel. Sertel was pretty cool. I personally, that's probably my least favorite zone out of all of them. But uh, I really enjoyed Devil's Tusk from 32 or 33 to 40. Um, like OCT is really fun in Sertel. Mm -hmm. But um, and then you can you know you can still go back and do those missions like uh, BWA and stuff in between those job boards or whatever. Yeah. So I mean, and let's be honest, the grind's not that bad. It's 14 hours or 15 hours, depending on how like how hard you're leveling, but. I don't think it's too bad. I think there's enough to get 
get yeah. you going all the way to 40. As long as you're not doing it continuously with five or more frames. Yeah, all you gotta at pick once. like one or two and just kind of stick to them until you hit max. So you mean, so you mean trying to do this for 15 frames is a bad idea? Yes. <laughs> keep yeah. doing it with 15 frames. You can do 15 frames like a lot of people have done, but you don't do them all at once. Yep. See, that's why you never even got to open world PvP. That's why you can't really say anything about (laughs) that subject. Hey, look at that. I I shouldn't need to get to 40. Arguably, you should be able to PvP right off the bat, I'd say, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I I agree with that. A lot of content as a whole, having just at least one character be 40 is good. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I still think Broken Peninsula will eventually be abandoned. Like, they'll realize we don't have the population. PvPers, PvEers both don't enjoy it. I think they'll convert it to something else. Uh, eventually, probably not right away. I think it'll get kind of the Devil's Tusk uh, Diamond Head treatment. We'll kind of, you know, get a little, a little rework. And then, um, yeah, Chosen War. That's something we've all wanted since like day one of Firefall, like that we've we heard got about. They've the bases, right? they've got the path, they've, yeah, got, they've got all the watchtowers set up. They've got so up. much stuff. It could work for that. Yeah, I think they could do a chosen war. Uh, I'm like, once again, like we we don't know what they're capable of, like what their technology or whatever that they have is capable of doing, but I think they can do some sort of chosen war type stuff. Either way, I think they need to go back to arenas. Like I don't see PvP ever working in this game. I'm probably going to be done playing as soon as I have something else to play. I mean, I'm still going to be, you know, every day checking in on it, logging in probably daily, but I'm not going to be playing BP anymore because it's not fun for anyone. It's, it's it's fun for, like, a night. Like, Terracon... I had a bit of fun, yes. Yeah, Terracon, night. myself, After programmer... people. Yeah, and their new combat designer. We played for a couple hours and we had fun, but it was just, hey, we are at this location, everyone come fight. We had a 10-man fight or something, cool. It was fun for a couple hours and then it's like... All right, this is boring. It's the same couple guys running against yeah, the exactly. same, yeah. same base. We don't want to move and change the scenery because then the other people can't find us, though. Yep. And and I think that winds up being kind of like the endless loop right there. Is, you know, Broken Peninsula is fun when you've got a bunch of people playing it. But you can't get a bunch of people playing it because the content They're- is broken. Or they don't like this aspect of it. So then it winds up not being fun because there aren't people to play it so like it, it all just kind of like hurts itself it it all contradicts itself um and i think that's kind of what we're seeing right now is we're we're finally running into everybody is kind of giving up on the zone that's a player so they yeah, 1.1 it. was the biggest hit like i called it though in pts i was like especially if we see this poison which they Thing is, we complained about the poison on the PTS forums. We're like, this poison's obviously too strong, and it got pushed to live. Um, there was a big thread about it. I think Pez actually said, you know, we see this. It got pushed to live, and it, it did what we said it's going to do. It's going to kill the PvP, and it did. A large portion of the people that were out there daily stopped playing. I was going to, but I have nothing else to play, and I still love Firefall. Um, so, yeah, I still want to see... You know, go somewhere. But each patch, like they fix generators and they fix shields or they fix uh, vehicles or they fix something, right? And the next patch, it breaks again, but they fix <laughs> something else. And then the next patch, they fix what they just broke, and the old thing that was fixed just broke again. Yeah. And it, so right now, half well, the like once again, half the outposts I can't capture again. Like it just it, keeps breaking every single patch. It was it was actually kind of kind of funny. Uh, so back when that zone first came out, and you couldn't capture any of the bases or anything like the generators were broken or they just wouldn't spawn or they were stuck behind um walls shields of light that never went down. yeah shields that never went down then uh you you couldn't capture bases properly now that all got fixed over you know like a month or so it's it took a little bit of time but it was all fixed and the zone was working just fine and then they rewrote the back end for it to make the uh, to make the zone run better. Uh, they announced that on the forums, like, "Hey, we just we completely rewrote the back end just to just to make everything you know to run smoother." And so when we add stuff at a later date, everything works out okay. Uh, it broke the zone again. <laughs> so so then the generators are despawning, or I haven't had them stuck behind walls of light yet, but. Uh, 
generators despawn, bases are uncapturable, stuff like that, and I don't know, it, it just feels like stuff that was broken before that got fixed and we thought was all good, and now it's just it's now it's just broken again. It's the same thing with balance too, though. Like I wrote, I don't know if you guys saw, I wrote a 16-page write-up, right, on what I thought of each frame, what I thought of each ability. Uh -huh. And well, they did some of it, right? They they changed. Uh, they I think they doubled all the deployable shields HP by they doubled it because <laughs> a lot of the shields were like you could shoot a Thunderdome once and it'd go down. So now Thunderdome has a decent amount of HP, so it can actually be used as a shield. So they did some of the stuff. The thing is, the next patch they add a new prefix or something that completely just breaks everything I just knew about the game. Um, like when Warfront was added. They had no module that was a hybrid of strength of, I think it was force and duration or something. They had no hybrid like that, so heavy armor wasn't broken. And then when they added this like super hybrid module called the Devil's Strengthen mod, I think it, it is, they completely broke and made heavy armor overpowered. So you've got a like a 19 second heavy armor with like 60 percent damage reduction and 20 percent damage reflection. Like, you cannot shoot this guy for 20 seconds. How is that fun? How is that a great mechanic for PvP? Like, I don't know. I just don't understand it. Yeah. They got a new combat guy, so maybe he'll start turning things around, but it's not going to work this way. They need and PvP gear, because every patch where there's an addition is just going to completely destroy it once again. Yeah. And I'm not going to write... And I'm not going to make feedback when it just changes every every single patch. And that's, that's one of the reasons why I was saying uh, at the very beginning of this, you know, just... Don't don't allow us to have modules and shit like that in PvP, cause having to balance for PvP every single patch like that, it, it's just gonna drive you nuts, and you're not gonna be able to do it. Uh, and then you're just gonna drive off your uh, PvP population by doing so. Don't allow us to have modules, because when shit breaks, we'll still be okay with our PvP gear. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, we had Red 5 in here. Yeah, we do. Hello, Red 5 Studios. Hello. We, we love you. We still love you. I'm just putting that out there right now. We do. Yeah, we do. You, you're awesome devs. You just need to listen to the community more. If, if we could, if we, all, all any game developer ever needs to do is just listen to the community and do exactly what they say. Nothing bad ever comes from that. That's ever. like, it's uh, it's so hard that's to say though, just because, nice. yeah, because yeah, are you kidding me? Nobody <laughs> agrees on everything. Like, that there's gonna be like I said, with the AOE. I know. That. I, and I'm yeah. just saying, like, with the AoE... No, there's still people that say that, though. You have to listen to this. There's still people that, you know, said AoE should not have been nerfed, and there's people that say it should have on both PvE yeah, and yeah, PvP you, sides. So you're, you're, you're never, gonna never going please to everyone. please everyone. Yeah, yeah, it was like the whole thing going with run speed for, uh, with PvP back when we had the arenas. A lot of people said they wanted faster, you know, movement speed so that you can get around yeah. quicker because it's fun to, you know, run fast. But the problem is, okay, they showed the results of a poll or something that they had, and a lot of people clearly wanted it, so they did it. But that was, I think, around when they were adding jet ball. But the problem was that when everyone's faster, the maps are smaller, the distances to get around. You know, if you see someone, you can't in safely engage them. Like someone pokes their head out of there and makes a mistake in their positioning. It's not just a matter of shooting, it's positioning. But that stops being relevant because they can instantly just run to the other side of the map. It just makes everything a lot more chaotic, and it kind of got rid of a lot of the team play. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought jet ball was in a pretty good spot right before Arsenal came out. And then Arsenal came out and shit the bed again. Like, PvP balance just went out the window once again. But, yeah, I don't know. I thought they did, they got pretty close to fairly balanced. Even the Accord frames felt like they were viable at that yeah. point, which is pretty cool. After they gave the which fixed never gear. Happens. Yeah. They gave, yeah. Since they gave the fixed gear and I stopped playing my Tiger Claw because I, I had to have my Crater, yeah, I was I playing the Accord Assault for a long assault. time and I was regularly playing with a lot of the higher people because I used to actually be good because that's all I had to do all day was just play Firefall yeah. almost. But, See, and that's, that's actually something that you didn't really get to experience, Lemons, but uh, back when we had Jet Bull and Arena PvP and stuff like that, um, the Accord frames were actually completely viable in PvP. Yeah. And uh, a good portion of the reason for that was because we had regulation gear. So that meant that the, the abilities were locked to each individual frame. So if you wanted Afterburner to be able to 
play jet ball in a more objective based way then a court assault was pretty much your best bet uh, if you wanted a good mix of healing and damage then the cord biotech was a good a good pick for you because it had both healing and it had good damaging abilities whereas dragonfly that was mostly healing and recluse that was well that was pretty much straight up damage and it's because you couldn't change your abilities on them now it everybody complained about it just because everybody likes to complain yeah. uh and they want the abilities that they want to play with but it also made it so that these free frames are completely viable so it was fun it's... i liked it it makes it so that when you're fighting people, you at least know what you're going up against. Like, you know, I could see a Tiger Claw, and he could have all Accord equipment on him, all of the Accord abilities. And then, you know, I'd, okay, I'd have to wait till I start fighting them to figure that out. But on the other hand, with that preset stuff, if I see a Firecat, I know exactly what it's got. If I see a Recon, I know exactly what it had. But the thing is, if you start letting people tweak stuff, there's the ups and the downs. Like, in... League of Legends or most other games, there's, you know, some level of gear or customization that you can start to do where you could have a character who, you know, you have your main gun, all right, maybe you want faster fire rate or you want to focus on the gun or you focus on abilities or something. I think that's where perks could come in if they do yeah. PvP yeah. perks. The thing, though, is that if you don't have those types of things or if they're kept in a very careful manner, then there's certain upsides where, like, when I'm fighting an assault and I'm a just a core dreadnought, I know that it will take, let's say, five direct hits from his gun. Guaranteed, five direct hits from that guy's gun will kill me. Four will not. Four and one splash will not. You, you know, there's some consistent, you know exactly how things work. You yep. know exactly, okay, he used Afterburner. I know it's going to take exactly 17 seconds before it's up again. You don't have the random chaos in there, which does add a certain element to play, but other people don't like it when everything's fixed in like that. So See, my, my thing about that is uh, I think one of the way, uh, reasons why it makes it fun for people to have imbalances like... Uh, gear or uh, power rating or perks or so on and so forth is all of the people that are bad at PvP or all of the PvE players now have a advantage over people that just like PvP. I think it's, only, it's only fun to a <laughs> point. Like, if that, if that imbalance uh, gets to be too big, like, right now, I cannot beat a Rhino, or I cannot beat a Dragonfly by myself. That's playing correctly. I, I can't do that. I can't do it with a friend. I can't do it with two friends. I have to do it with three. Like, it, it gets to a point where this gear, or this ability imbalance, is not fun. But you know, it, it can be fun having some imbalance in there. Uh, like this gun will obviously do you know triple the amount of damage as this gun. Uh, so I mean, you know, it's just a different way of playing. But when you have something that's you can never beat, that, that's that's wrong. Yeah. It should never be in the game. If someone's capable of being nonstop mobile, that's great as long as they don't deal a lot of damage or you can kill them really easily. Yeah, let's or something. Dread. Dread is the, like, but, the most damage reduction focused class, and then it also has some of the highest damage in the game. Like you can't do that. Like, who thought that was a good idea? And it's not slow either. Yeah, it's not slow either. It used to be. It used to be really slow. Not so much yeah. anymore. <laughs> Lots of With your basic perks, though, you can bring anything up to a basic level. Then you, you toss in charge max. or teleport shot, and yep. you're pretty mobile. Teleport shot can get up to like what 100 meters, or, meters, I think, or oh, something. Oh man, yeah, it was, I was, I was crazy. I think 120. Yeah, it was, it was 80 or 120. I'm trying to remember. I was actually watching a stream of your soup when uh when you were fighting, um, Rexer and. No, not Rexer. Wait, no, was it Rexer and no, it was uh, AOD actually. It was um, JD they use Killa it very well. and uh, Aita or something like that. A U Y T A. I don't know how to say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's a very good mammoth, and he uses teleport shot. Like mm. I don't know, like it's so cool yeah, the way he uses it. Teleport shot is flipping ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> he was. He was making it all the way from uh, the watchtower, which you were playing a damn sniper, all the way to you. Like, yeah. <laughs> range. holy crap! <laughs> That's a long ass distance. Like, I have no problem with that. It's just when you give them everything, like damage too, on top of that, and you give them, you know, heavy damn. armor that lasts 15 seconds. Like, what am I supposed to do against that? Nothing. So, I just run. All right, all right. 
Hold on, I got this, guys. Let's make him unkillable. <laughs> Let's give him a really high DPS weapon. Let's also give him one of the best movement abilities in the game. Holy shit, this sounds like the best frame ever. All right, like, and that's basically what happened. Uh, no, I, it's all just imbalances that need to be fixed, but a lot of the reason why these imbalances are here is just because of modules and perks and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's that's the main issue killing PvP right now. Yeah, a lot of perks are, like, uh, the new perks that they were adding in, I, I think they would have added them in probably in this patch right now that they're going to do right now. Uh, if we didn't all complain about them, they had. I don't know if you guys saw them. One of the perks is because um, you, you have one point perks to give you twenty percent damage reduction, right, against a certain type of damage. And then these two point perks that they're going to add to the game is if if you took damage, it would increase your damage reduction against that damage type by eighty percent for four seconds every ten seconds. Like <laughs> you're you're going to be doing instead of doing ten k damage a shot, you'll be doing like one thousand. That, that's insane like, if someone's like, using an elemental weapon then they're just screwed yeah they're screwed i don't know i think that's really stupid i think i don't think red five's combat team really understands how the combat in this game works and they're just kind of coming up with, with ideas that sound good but when you put them in the game and actually play with them with players that play the game every day like it's it's not gonna work damage reduction there's so much damage reduction in the game i don't think you need any more you have abilities, you have perks for every damage type that give you 20%. How much more do you need? Triage gives you like 55% damage reduction, I think, if you go full yeah. uh, damage reduction focus. Yeah. Like, damage that, reduction is one of those things that you have to be really careful with, in my opinion, adding it to a game because, like, you know, a Rhino's heavy armor, you see that go up, it's a clear, you know, it's damage reduction. And it's but sad, if you start so, having just random perks and a whole bunch of different types of things that can be mixed together in various ways, when you see a player knowing what is going to damage him and when, it just becomes half guesswork almost. Yeah. just gets in the way. It, it, it's kind of like the same thing that killed uh, Arena PvP in WoW. Um, I mean, it's still, it's still going nowadays, but uh, one of the main off-putting things for Arena PvP back when that first came out was they added uh, um, resistance gear. And when they added resistance gear... Holy crap, did it make a lot of people just not play once uh, season started coming out and shit. Like, nobody wanted that, because uh, resistance gear made it nearly impossible to kill someone that had been playing PvP for a while before you. It's unfair. It's unrewarding to someone that's first getting into it. And then, back when, uh, back when this first happened, people that were first getting into it were being told by players that already were you know used to it like oh don't worry just go ahead and fail uh fail for like a good 15 of these per week or something and then you'll have enough to buy some resistance gear and i don't want to fail a bunch of these every week just to f get some goddamn resistance gear no like that's not, no uh-uh no, I want to be able to kill shit properly. Like, I want to run around and have fun in these stupid arenas. And I can't do that because I don't have resistance gear. You know, it, ugh, I hate resistance gear. Yeah, I kind of see, like, the same thing with the reflective mechanic and that they added in. We, we didn't have reflective heavy armor, reflective spiny core, right, back in arena PvP. You could actually shoot at people without being punished for shooting at them. Like... Heavy armor is cool, right? It's like, this guy popped heavy armor and I'm doing less damage to him. That's awesome, right? But, okay, I can't shoot. Now with reflective, is I can't shoot at him or I'll kill myself. Ah, I don't... reflective plus spiny core. Yeah, plus spiny core. Like, why? Who thought punishing players for shooting at something, or shooting at another player, was a good idea? I, I don't think that's ever a good idea. Especially, once again, 15 plus seconds of this. You cannot shoot at this guy for 15 seconds, or you will kill yourself. Yeah. In an extremely controlled type of environment, you can have very limited types of mechanics like that, but you have to be very careful with them, and with yeah. things as open as they're in a firefall, it just doesn't really work. I remember back when heavy armor and spiny heavy armors were first being the thing, uh, that was also when we had the chosen heavy armor that would heal you when you got shot, because it had over 100% damage reduction. That I love those. I had a couple of them. But... 
someone had a spiny heavy armor and it had this wonderful effect of you take almost no damage but you will deal way more damage which meant that if i went up with my arsenal pulled out my combat shrug and then unloaded to a guy just standing right there in a duel after he pops a spiny heavy armor he'd still have 80 percent of his health i would be lying dead on the ground yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the same thing with like it's just numbers I don't know, Red 5 is just not good with numbers sometimes. Like, uh, and realizing how big of a web they're yeah. creating with a lot of these things. Yeah, Cryonade. You could get Cryonade to over 100% snare. I think you get it to like 102%. Uh, and, yeah, I was, I was having yeah. Valentina do that to me one time. That's what PvP like, no, was. is uh, who, who can throw a grenade down at the other guy and make him immobile? Like You have a movement-based game with all these movement abilities, jetpacks, and you take that away from them. Like, yeah. Why? Headshot, like, headshot, anyone's yeah. going to What die. is the combat designer thinking at that point? It's like, why, why would you do that? Like, s slowing someone by 20%, like, you know, it's noticeable, but it's nothing crazy. You can still jump, you can still do whatever. But when you take away the one thing that this game is, like, built around, which is movement, why? Why, yeah, yeah, why would, would you like do that? It would be like doing that to tribes, you know? Yeah. Uh, as like, soon as, as, sorry, you can't as you're so removed you. uh, skiing from tribes, you realize it wasn't a very good shooting game. But exactly. its can't movement made it a fantastic game. So, yeah, it, that's just one thing. And Red 5 agreed, uh, though, because when we saw the Chosen thing, the Chosen Offensive, they're like, chosen, uh, chosen devs are no longer affected by Snare's knockback, right? They understood it wasn't fun. I thought that was hilarious because they wouldn't remove Snare's for us. But they removed it for themselves. They don't like it. We obviously don't like being stuck to the ground either. And uh, they they witnessed the pain. They they understood it because the first chosen offensive before launch. Uh, you guys remember that, right? When they were chosen, playing cho chosen. All we do is just knock them back. They couldn't move. And that's what that's what PVP yeah. was. Oh, no promo PVP for the first two months before they finally realized we fucked up. See, they they could totally add. Um snares and so on and so forth uh but if they were to reduce the percentage uh something like you said 20 percent, 20 percent is a good amount um but what would be even nicer is if they also added uh added um some kind of oh what is it called uh diminishing returns so for 30 seconds after you get hit with this snare, if you get hit with it again, it's only going to do blah, blah, blah percentage of how much snare it did in the first place. Uh, a lot of games that have PvP did that, um, or still do that, actually. I think that's a good way to kind of combat that issue here in Firefall. Uh, because then it still makes those, those snare abilities somewhat useful, but also not completely overpowered. Um, and then also it makes it so if you get hit by a zerg or a train of people, then you're not just stuck in one place the entire time, you know? Yeah, use fall-off curve, like, the first 20% of a snare you'll take full-on, but after that, it'll ramp down to only half effect everything after that. So make it so, like, it can never be slowed beyond 60% of your speed, so you can still always move at least a bit. Something like that, because completely being outright stunned, I could see that for certain PvP carefully crafted encounters and stuff. But in PvP, it just doesn't work in Firefall. It's like absorption bomb, but without the damage reduction, it's no. It would be a horrible idea, and that's pretty much what snares and stuff are like. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, I got a question for you guys. So we've spent like the last hour just shitting on Firefall PvP, <laughs> pretty much, just like everything that we think that it does wrong is there anything that we think that it does right absolutely not just joking <laughs> i would say uh the movement is good like a lot of games are you know really slow or limited to walking around on the ground so having jump jets and having lots of interesting movement like that is good right now i'd say that it's a bit too high for PvP because a lot of people are just zipping around crazy fast to the point that it's really hard to aim with certain types of weapons. Like, w with my Mammoth, unless I'm standing 5 feet from someone, in which case I'll deck them in a second, but if I'm beyond 10 feet, I will not hit somebody. Other yeah, issues I thought the aside, speed that they had, but... the jet ball speed they had, I thought was pretty good speed. 
Yeah. Um, just the overall combat, I still think, is great in Fireball. It's like the one thing that actually keeps me in this game, just the overall feel of the combat. But, I don't know, I just don't see BP ever working, and I'm calling it now. Within the next year, they will not. They will stop BP, like, as a PvP zone. They're not going to keep going with it. Oh, hey, what up, Shinigami? I don't know. They could just sit it there, let it, you know, sit and try and open arena and stuff. Well, I mean, by that, I mean, like, they're not going to have someone... Actively to support. support. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think they're going to realize we can't do this, at least not at this point with this population. It's not going to happen. Yeah. If they added tanks and, you know, large air vehicles and all sorts of other stuff that drew everyone in and got rid of the level issue, then it would probably draw a lot more people. But with its current mechanic of having to just go out and thump running around, that's, if I want to thump, I'll do that in Diamond Tusk. Yeah. Like, if the bases had, you know, how Harvester, that PvP arena map, had those big old mining machines that you'd try and capture, have something more like that, where each of these bases are built over a prime resource area, and you've got big old mining rigs in each of these places. Players have to go next to them, say that uh, the local reactors are all damaged, and it draws ambient power from players' battle frames. The more players that you have on one team in an area, the more it'll harvest resources. Something like that. That way you have reasons for players to cluster around an area. At the same time, though, if there's a lot of enemies in an area, that means it'll be have harvested a lot of resources. Still have, like, send back every ten minutes thing. That way, if all a group of enemies can take it over, because it's a highly contested point with all those frames powering it'll have a lot more resources to reward them. That way you don't all just split up and sit around at your own, but you'll try and cluster around a couple. Something like that might work, but with the right now mechanic, you spread people out, you make people piss each other off if they try and actually play to the objective, and there's not a lot of interesting content that you'll find there that you won't find in PvP, again, if you're playing to the objective. Yeah, the thing with what you said is, the big thing is incentive. There isn't one right now, still, and there wasn't really one, like, rewards still sucked in Arena. I played months of it's, Arena well, PvP, right, and I got 10 million XP. It's not just the incentive so much as the fun, the idea of, you know, if I, like, I'd love to play Arena PvP because it was outright fun, it was a different type of gameplay. Yeah, yeah. But the incentive was pretty much non-existent. Yeah, but what no I'm referring reward. to is, if you want to, you know, have a different type of gameplay, you don't even have that. If you're playing the objective, it's just thumping, but even worse, I'd argue, than in PvP. But it's the same experience, but in a worse package. What I'm saying is that they need to make sure that they have a different experience that is better in its own right. Having rewards are good, but having it be fun, first and foremost, is what I want. Yeah, but rewards is what gets people going there, too, kind It gets of. some people going, but if it's not yeah. fun, I just ignore stuff. Because, yeah, like, in Arena PvP, why a lot of people didn't play, too, is they were forced to either pay red beans or play through the PVE content to get to unlock like an electron, something that was viable in TDM and PvP, because the accord frames were pretty garbage for TDM. They were wow. good for once again jet ball. Most frames were for jet ball, but for like TDM and stuff, none of the accord frames were really good. You had to spend red beans or you had to play through PVE content. And people are like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to play. Yeah, yeah. the um, only award frames that were any worth were probably the biotech and the assault. Yeah. But compared to their counterparts, while they were in general effective, the others had still certain powers in certain areas that meant that for an organized team, they'd be better. Yeah. Like, the raw damage from the fusion cannon meant that in an organized team with people that don't miss, it will win. Yeah, well, so, like, I had 10 million XP, I think, from months of PvPing, right? Months of just on one frame, 10 million. I play one day of PvE, I got 13 million XP. How is that? Like, I don't understand that. Like, I played months on this one frame, got 10 million. I play one day, and I get 13 million in PvE. I don't, that, that seems really weird to me, too. That's, yeah, badly balanced. Yeah. Well, it's, and one of the reasons why that they were trying to do that at the time was they wanted people to actually play the PvE content. That they were... They were trying to get people to play the PvE content because they were uh, they were trying to build around the PvE content, and uh, in doing so, they were making PvP unrewarding to encourage people to play PvE. Now, <laughs> I think this also contributed to the whole three percent of players only played PvP thing. If you make those, if you make arenas and so on and so forth unrewarding, sure, a lot of people aren't going to play it. 
but it's not because it's a bad zone or it's a badly implemented area. It's because you made it very unrewarding for people. And that's after well, having half the match are also unplayable you too. Rewards. Huh? You couldn't play OCT. I don't think anyone ever played OCT or Harvester because they were just unplayable. Like if you went inside the OC or the OCT capture point, poison. You went inside the Harvester capture point, poison. Fire. Originally, like, they were great. Fun. Originally, I loved, I loved them when Harvester first. Best, um, like some of my favorite memories from that, yeah. but. After, yeah, the AoE started getting out of hand, then it got bad. And because you have the confined objective area, if you try and capture it, then you're in a non stop cloud of recluse, you know, gas. Going three, three game modes turn into one TDM. And then we got Jet Ball. But yeah, still, so you're, you took all your game modes and you pretty much half of them are not playable. Yeah. It's frustrating. I think one of the reasons why it's so frustrating is just because PvP in Firefall is actually ridiculously fun. The I combat, love... The combat in this game is... Oh, it feels so good. It feels so right. Like, being able to run around, use jetpacks, and then use abilities. like And, and not just one ability, like, uh, let's say, Destiny or something like that. Uh, no, you've got a bunch of abilities, and... Uh, and ultimate, it feels like a weird combination of MMO, MOBA, first-person shooter with jetpacks, you know? It's it's great, and it feels good. Now, it, <laughs> it hurts when all of this good, all of this fantastic, yummy, delicious combat uh, winds up being hidden underneath this layer of, uh, I don't know, unplayability, you know, I guess is the word to say. There are, I'd say that if you compare like a modern build of Firefall to one of the builds that we had way back in earlier beta, there's definitely a lot of fixed bugs. There's also a lot of new bugs, of course, but there's a lot of fixed stuff. There's a lot more content. There's a lot more stuff going on and everything is clearly changed. But for all the roughness and problems that the old stuff definitely had, it still was very fun. And not just the it was new type of fun, it was just still rewarding and fun regardless because I, you know, didn't just start playing it at one point. I was playing it nonstop every chance I'd get. And I kept playing it, and I pretty much never got tired of it during yeah. a lot of those original times. Yeah, so. same thing here, man. Um, back when... Like, I never played any game that long before then. Even World of Warcraft, I did not... Actually, maybe I, towards I, World I, of Warcraft. I can't, I can't but... say that, but... <laughs> I'm right there with I you, did, though. Yeah. The point was, it was really good. It definitely had its problems, but the way that the combat flowed, the feeling of stuff, it's like, you know, HKMs, I like HKMs, don't get me wrong, they're a nice seeming addition, but a game isn't all its some individual parts, it's, you know, how everything comes together and connects, which is really hard to figure out and predict in advance, and the old thing definitely wasn't perfect, but it did have a certain fun that if they could try and bring that back would be nice. Yes, I know memories are, you know, focusing on the positive and stuff, but the raw amount Rose of playtime that I had glasses. doesn't lie. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. Uh, back when regulation gear was first put in, um, and shortly after that, uh, jet ball was added, I think that was the most amount of time that I sunk into Firefall. And I've been playing for three years, and that was only about like a year and a half ago. So that's that's a huge portion of the fun that I've had in this game was arena PvP. That that was the majority of my time spent. Uh, definitely at the time. I mean, like I was doing thumpers and I was trying to get my man and so on and so forth. But if I was logging in, and I logged in every single day. I was playing I was playing Arena. And I think one of the reasons why Arena wound up being so fun was just because it's it's a fun little half an hour match that you can jump into, not really need to spend an hour trying to prep for or anything like that. You know, you don't need to go get this gear, you don't need to go get 
this ability to throw on here to make this class viable in this area and be at this level and so on and so forth. No, it's, it's just seriously just in, jump fun. in the game, queue up, play, and kill shit for half an hour, look at the time, go, oh crap, you know, I got, I got a dinner to go to. Go to your dinner, but while you're sitting there at dinner, you're thinking, man, I actually really had fun because in that half an hour, I killed this guy and I ran over here and I scored this objective and I did this and... You know, there's this one guy that threw up all these multi-turrets up on this ceiling, and I cleared him out, and I was still able to go kill his ass, and, like, that's, it's good memories, that's fun, that, that's something engaging to your player base. Now, here we have open world. Now, open world can be fun, but for the majority, it's a long-term kind of fun for more of a hardcore base. This I'm definitely shooting isn't random going to mobs, casuals. individual mobs. I don't care about. You're just shooting this mob, shooting that mob, moving through this area. It's not the same as having those awesome moments of I've killed this person. Now I'm running around here. Okay, turn around, get this guy who's chasing me. You know, getting five kills without dying is insanely awesome. Killing five random creatures in the world, or even 500 creatures in the world without dying, doesn't have any of the same rewarding feel. All those hister nests, they're not even like all they do right now in open world PvP is. They act as a HKM gas station Farm. or charge. Yeah, exactly. Like it's like cool. Uh, I'm gonna go kill these hissers and all right, HKM. Kill two people with my HKM. All right, go back to the hissers. Thanks for my HKM again. That, that's what it was for a little bit. Yeah. It kind of it still is in a way. Well, now uh, Raptor HKM. Holy crap! That's what people used to all always do. Now it's freaking uh, um, watchtower guards. I was watching you farm Watchtower Guards um, one time just to get your HKM up so that you could go wipe out, you know, players. And that's kind of ridiculous, actually. I completely agree. Like, Dude, I, you gotta do it. Like, it, it's so stupid. That's what the metagame turns into. Like, I don't know. It's as if... I feel like as if they don't play it themselves and see how it actually works. It just... I don't it's, see how people can find that fun. It's, just, it's, it's the not. idea of the idea of HKMs being these awesome things that you can throw down and that are really powerful. That you earn, right? It sounds really fun and stuff, and it's a good idea, but the problem is when in practice they can completely overwhelm people, and when you can, especially in this type of open world with the PvE mixed in, like in arenas at least, unless you were in jet ball with the uh, pickups for HKM, you didn't have to worry about someone randomly getting their HKM available 10 times over in a match. Yeah. But uh, I'm telling you, stick those fucking things on a two-minute cooldown. I don't care how much that's going to piss some people off. I'm telling you, put them on a two-minute goddamn cooldown. They're HKMs for a reason. They should have, like, some people were using their HKMs more than they were shooting their guns and using their abilities because of how fast they were charging. And that they could just go and, like, one hister nest could actually charge your HKM all the way. That's how fast mine was charging. One hister nest. So yeah, every minute drag, I had it. Self-healing. It doesn't even have to be near the hister nest. doesn't even have to shoot the gun. Just walking around. It gets every five seconds. Five to ten seconds. Same thing with the Electron. Every five uh, to ten healing seconds. Healing generator, healing ball, healing pillar. It's yeah. just... So, so broken. Yeah. Okay, guys. We need to stop finishing up before too much longer here. Yep. Well... Anybody think, got some final comments? I think they need to stop worrying about open world P PvP so much and give us some battlegrounds, give us some something more, you know, pick up and play versus this thing of where you might you might show up and be like, oh, there's not enough people on. Okay, I won't play PvP today. Give give something that you know you don't need 50 people for, and give us something you can pick up, play, have fun. Doesn't require level forty and just you know more arcadey, less serious, less you know. Give us something that we can just we can just play with, have fun with, get get some decent rewards. And if you're under level forty, give us a little bit of XP. I don't have to say it has to be the best way to get XP, but give us you know decent XP. That'd be nice. See, I, I, th Has I think that, arena PvP. I think <laughs> that um, the experience does have to be at least decent. And the reason why is just because you're going to run into those people that don't want to level through mm -hmm. a PvE area, but they still want to experience the end game content. Now you're forcing those players to run through all of this PvE content just to experience end game. Um, I am I am fine 
with uh, open world PvP being an end game area, uh, that that's perfectly acceptable. Maybe if you did some kind of balances and so on and so forth, like it would be more fun. But I'm okay with it being end game. Now, <laughs> forcing a PvP player to go through PVE content to reach said end game, not so much fun. So, yeah. Well, and it prevents people from um, kind of smurfing to a certain extent where they are like they will like take like all kinds of really powerful pucks and put it on um, a specific frame that's you know level 20 or level 30 and then just destroying people because they're not up to that it's not up to that curve yet and so then they're, they're, they're constantly getting experience and they're constantly leveling up so they can't they can't keep playing at a level because sooner or later they're going to hit 40 or whatever and then they're going to be in the, the 40 arenas or whatever it might be best if they just give one single thing, like for open world PvP, automatically scale everyone up to a certain basic that. equivalent. That would be one way to start, but do they have the technology right now that lets them scale and change people's gear easily and keep it for when they go back? You know, it sounds easy, but depending on how they're back in databases, written, that could actually be a really big hassle. <laughs> do they have the technology? <laughs> No, they don't. <laughs> you have jets these days that can go at Mach 10, admittedly not for very long and not very successfully, but we can't make a game where they can change your equipment. <sighs> so yeah, Red 5, don't, don't worry about open world PvP, nobody plays that. <laughs> I mean... I, I, would ha I would have to say these, these are my closing comments. Uh... Open world PvP can be fun. Um, we're just running into a lot of balance issues and shit that really shouldn't be there. Uh, and the population. And the population. It is too big of a zone for us to really care about this area right now because uh, on average there's about 10 players in there. And this zone is big enough for like four teams of 20 players per team. So when we only have ten more. players, that yeah. reminds me. Uh, but but uh, <laughs> go ahead. If you're gonna do if you're gonna do overall PvP, if you can give us dedicated teams, that makes us much more competitive because we're fighting for one team at all times instead of constantly switching around teams. I think the switching around teams was is in there just because the um, idea of balance. Yeah, well, the the way that it's set up right now is kind of broken uh, in a way uh, when you're trying to join in there with friends or platoons or so on and so forth. But that aside, I'm just going to throw my ending comments in there now because it's almost been an hour and a half. Uh, so, open world. Those are my, my, my thoughts on open world. Uh, arena. Arena can be fantastic in fact it was fantastic you just need to do some slight tweaks some slight changes and don't you dare allow modules or um or gear in uh or a lot of there. the current perks yeah yeah Slow it out. i mean you, you can you can keep perks in as long as you add well not all of them but you can you can keep perks the nighthawks in final lot. perk no go yeah a lot of perks as long as you no add go. some kind of like uh uh unlock system you know i've reached level five i have now unlocked yada 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 perk mm -hmm. uh something like that you know uh but it's a pvp rank and it is a pvp perk you know that there special carefully thought out same perks there you go and uh other than that i mean like the the gameplay in the game is fantastic and it can be top freaking notch. We just really need to focus on things that should be focused on and balance things that need to be balanced. And th I think those are the only two things holding it back. There, yeah. my final comments. Mm -hmm. I would add to that that while the balance is definitely important, uh, like, you know, they were trying to do the whole PvE sports thing for quite a while. I am, you know, not someone who spent a much time going into any of those fields and stuff, but even if the balance isn't perfect, as long as it's not egregiously annoying or pissing people off, then 
is the game's content is still the, the combat is really fun in PvP. So as long as you have that, it might not be turning into an esports thing, but it will keep a player base. And for the company to survive, it there needs a player needs, base yep. somewhere or another. And PvP is, in my opinion, a good way to get it, given the awesome combat that Firefall has. It's it's a good way to attract casuals. Soup, did you see the comment in chat? Aluminia says, PvP is fun until Soup shows up and esports your whole team into the dot. <laughs> Soup is one of those players that you just, you just, you join, you join PvP and if you see he's not in your team, you just, okay, I'm done for the day. I usually make my solo, I make a solo team usually. So and then everybody just joins your team? No, no, no. I make a private team. Oh, yeah. He just does it on his own. Yeah, he, he yeah. usually plays by himself. Uh, him, Shapiro, um, I, there's a there's a few other players that when I get paired against, I'm just like, mm. oh, I mean, I, Val I try Val not to Tina's kill people. It's not fun. Like if I see someone they're AFK, obviously I'm not gonna shoot them. If I see someone like they're thumping, I, I usually you know I won't shoot them unless it's someone I really don't like, <laughs> which there aren't too many what's people. What's wrong with you? Hey, what's this? You have a soul? What does what's this mean? How many times <laughs> have I played uh played <laughs> sinful Sundays and I'm just like, oh, someone yeah, just like, killed me. What the thing that? is, you're, you're uh, running around with, like, with people, so like, a, that's I normal, know, I'll attack you. But with like AFK people or like people that are completely clueless, I can tell like they're just running around with a uh, repair orb at an outpost, just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. I'll usually avoid them, like ignore them, let them you know, have fun or whatever, but yeah. besides, that, that's why I don't like play on teams. Usually I just play solo, just it gives look, people a chance to. Look at that, good guy soup. <laughs> um, soup for MVP. Without the current balance thing that we used to have in the arenas, it's, yeah, who I mean, you find could, is a far bigger deal. Yeah, I could easily go on Rhino and just kill everyone or something like that. That's not fun, though. Not for me, not for me, not for them. You know, hashtag arena PvP 2014, maybe. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's like, I'm expecting if they bring it back mid-2015. Mid if they started working on it right now, they probably wouldn't yeah. be able to get it out, even cramming. Yeah, true. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not unless they hired people, like, secretly, and they've been working on it for a while, and they've just been lying to us, but I highly doubt that's the Red that's 5, the case. please, if there's one thing you can do to us, secretly be lying to us. Yeah, yeah, secretly been lying to us for the last, like, year, please, for the love no, of like, God. No, like, last, like, three or four years would be nice. Uh, that's... <laughs> Since long, since they've since they've had the idea of the game, they've had a secret team one got it on Arena PvP. Okay, even though we officially launched this whole time, we this hasn't been the real game. Here's the real game. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Yeah. Well. Okay. So I I don't think that the game is necessarily bad. I think it's just oh, no. there yeah. there are slight things that we can change here and there to make it better. Um, we, need, we need a player base because right now we're losing the player base pretty quickly and it's going down and we need new content we need better pvp we need new we need things that can bring people in and right now it's just not there I, and i i think pvp can kind of fill that gap you know uh well in in some ways you still need a lot of pve content you do uh but pvp can kind of fill that gap just in the sense that it is a replayable um Re it's replayable content that is fun that you obviously don't need to throw a ton of time in to allow players to still soak up and enjoy the that content. Uh, for example, League of Legends. League of Legends had one map for how freaking long? And the only thing that they had to do was balance classes and add new champions? That's and then eventually, it. what we walk map, but they're still walking map. I, I mean, yeah, they're reworking well, no, no, the map it's, now. That's but... not really rework. It's more of just a visual update. Yeah, but see, that's the thing, though. That one map has lasted them years, years, and it's it's content that thousands and thousands of people, no, millions actually, are still just logging in every day so that they can go play this one fucking map. That's ridiculous. That's that's every MOBA, really. I can't think of a single MOBA that uses yeah. more than one, one, like, competitively or, like, seriously. Well, and even, you know, like, Guild Wars 2 PvP, I can't think of those, what, like, a dozen maps or something? There's not, there's not like, this massive amount of maps or anything. Yeah. 
Except, except for Skyhammer, because screw Skyhammer, that map is so dumb. Anybody who's ever played Guild Wars 2, who's ever played Guild Wars 2 PvP hates Skyhammer, because it's just the most annoying map ever. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah, uh, Soup, what are your closing comments? Uh, Arena PvP 2014? <laughs> like, nothing <laughs> else, really. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just waiting. Um, kind of done playing for the most part. I think most of us are that are PvPing, usually. Uh, Shapiro actually uninstalled the game for a week and then came back. But, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's a game you can't really leave, but yeah, like, there's, there's see, really not much holding still on my hard drive, I just can't, yeah. can't go, can't, can't get over uninstalling it. That's one of the frustrating parts about Firefall. Is like it's a fantastic game. I love Firefall, but it has it has that that uh, that thing where it feels like it's got so much potential and it can go so far, but then there's just stupid little things like, you know, this that Getting and the other PvP. I <laughs> like that uh, where it's just like. Mm, uh, uh, do I really want to play it? No, but I don't want to install it. Oh, crap. That's exactly why I'm right now. Like, That's where a lot of people are. Like, it's not that I don't like the game, it's just those other games, and those, I don't, I'm almost in this place now where I've been playing, I've been, I'll get home from school or work or whatever, and I'll sit down and be like, I want to play a game, but I don't know what. Oh. I want to play something, and we want to just have it be mindless, but I don't know what it is. Actually, you want to know what's really interesting. I uh, I tried to find, or so I got I got bored the other day, and I was trying to think of a new game that I could stream, uh, just just for fun, because I I've been streaming a little bit of Arc Age, and that's that's all right, and Destiny, but I've got my gripes with that. The PvP in that is fantastic, by the way. Uh, just the rest of the game that's. <laughs> uh, so it's the complete opposite of Firefall. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> and then you know, obviously, I've got Firefall, and those those are my three games that I tend to stream pretty regularly. Uh, now, <laughs> I was trying to think of another game that's like Firefall. That's an MMO. That's also a shooter, and that's actually really fun to play. But you know, has has a good PvP area, and I couldn't think of a single fucking game i couldn't defiance, even Defiance, sort of i guess defiance. i'd say planet side 2 is the closest right now because both know, but, for pvp are only open world uh, honestly though the the combat in planet side 2 is is still fairly different it's, it's too focused on being a shooter for me to really enjoy it uh, I really like the MMO aspects of Firefall. I think that they pull the right MMO aspects and play off of them. Whereas Planet Side really focuses on uh, this is a fucking shooter in a big open world MMO type, you know, type environment with vehicles. You know, that that's what it is. It feels like a gigantic fucking battlefield with slight MMO tropes. That's it. That's all it feels like. Which is fine. Which is okay. You know, it, it winds up being fun. Uh, sometimes. But it's it's not my thing. And I was trying to think of something that's even similar to what Firefall offers. And, I, like, there's Defiance, like Lemon yeah. said. But Defiance, Defiance is, is crap. Like the, uh, Defiance... <laughs> okay, I've played a little bit of Defiance. I haven't played a whole lot. And it does... It does some things pretty good, but a lot of it's just kind of meh. Okay, so its storyline is it's all right. It's okay, you know. It ties yeah. into the show really nicely, which I appreciate. Uh, but its combat feels like garbage. Its combat does not feel fun at all. There, uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it, well, and they went from free the to look, play and they the kind sound of the sound and the feel and everything. It looks like I should take you know a shotgun and shoot something in the face and it should die. That's what what the style feels like. But that's not how it works. I run up to something, I shoot it in the face, and it it's just like, mm, no, that took away a quarter. <laughs> Alright, now I'm dead. You know, it, 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 it plays off of the wrong MMO tropes. Right. If it was for closer that game. almost to, like, Guild Wars 2 glass cannon style combat where 
you you die in one shot, but they die in one shot. So as long as you can get your shots off and they, they don't hit you, that kind of would almost be better of us is trying to do this whole thing of you have to hit it seven times with the shotgun to kill it or whatever. Yeah. But, um, but, but do you see what I'm getting at, though? Like, there there's two slightly similar games, and that's it. The rest yep. of it is, you know, there's there's nothing like it. And it's unfortunate that we can't just really polish out, iron out those things that need to be ironed out to make it a really fantastic game, you know? Yeah. Well, that's the big advantage that Final Fall has right now. That, that's, the, that's the ace up Red 5's sleeve, is that if they can pull this off, it will wreck, because it is very unique right now in the market. There's only a few games that are like it, you know? You have... And they screw up a lot of areas that Final Fall does actually get right. Right. The That's problem fine. is Firefall screwed up a lot of the key areas that they also do get right. Right. And but they need to sit down and figure out what's going wrong, how they can get people in there, and how what what we need to do. Because it seems like they're kind of in this place where they want to do a whole bunch of stuff, but they're not really sure what to do, and they're not really sure what whether they should do new content, new guns, fix PvP, add new PvP stuff. They're not really sure what they're supposed to do, and... I think that if they would just sit down and just remove open world PvP, place put in some arena PvP, you know, add some new content, but then also clean up, add more campaign missions to go all the way up to 40. If I if if I should be able to level up from level one to 40 on campaign missions, that would be awesome. Because campaign missions, all meta, pretty fun, especially the first time. Uh, but yeah. So campaign missions are great. Campaign missions are definitely a blast and i think you're right on that i think uh campaign missions should have definitely made it all the way up to 40 you know so that you have a main storyline arc that reaches end game that totally makes sense now in the same token i can definitely see why that didn't happen uh campaign missions are are something that you have to spend a lot of time uh throwing resources into uh, you need your writers, and you need your uh, your scripters, and this, that, and the other, just to make an instance that you can run through and kill like an hour for someone. You know, they're doing operations right now, which I guess could add to it. Yeah, I think they're called operations, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so hopefully that's cool. <laughs> but you know, hopefully. see, I think that's why it's it, it's just content that wound up taking a lot of time to make. So that it, that's what made it so it didn't reach 40. And what we have right now would be stretched way too thin if they decided to stretch that into 40. So I, that's just my personal opinion on that. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have anything to add? Because I think we should be finishing up at this point. Yeah. No, was, I've, I've said my piece. Soup, you got anything to add? Terracon? Not come to mind. Okay. Then this has been Into the Melding, a Firefall podcast. I am Lemons. That's Nakiato, that's Superior, oh. and that's Terracon. Hold okay. on, hold on. I'm, Le- uh, I'm, uh, I'm Nakiato. Oh, actually, I, I do have something that I wanted to throw out there. Uh, anybody that's watching right now, um, I'm doing a an Extra Life 24-hour live stream this Saturday. Mm-hmm. Uh, if anybody wants to join, if anybody wants to pop into my channel and say hi, you know, uh, maybe donate like five bucks. Get a, get Phoenix Children's Hospital some uh, some you know donations. Then awesome. My um, my Twitch name is right down below. My face right here. Uh, it's also over it's in, also chat. in the chat. Yeah, because I'm awesome. Because because Lemons went ahead and did that for me. So yeah, no, that's that's what I'll be doing. I'll be streaming some like Firefall, maybe some Arc Age and stuff like that. So. We should at some point get together and do some of that together, because I'm also going to be doing the 24-hour stream. Oh, nifty! Are you doing? Are you doing it Saturday? Yeah. Saturday, Sunday. Okay, we'll be doing it at the same time. We probably should meet up at some point. Yeah. Uh, and do some stuff together, maybe firefall together or something. Right. I'm not even sure what I'm doing. I originally wanted to do like the entire anthology of Tomb Raider from beginning to end, but a I wouldn't be able to get through it all, and b I'm probably going to get bumped out after like halfway through the first game. So yeah, I'll That's... probably end up. That's why I'll be switching it up between a couple of games, uh, just because as much as I love Firefall, I don't want to sit here and play Firefall for 24 hours straight. Why not? Well, my ass is just like, ah, I'm so hungry, too. Like, I'll have have one of those IV drips, 
<laughs> just filled with like <laughs> funyuns and fresh <laughs> dip. <laughs> you know, that, that's not gonna end well. <laughs> well, yeah, and I think I'm gonna pick up a whole bunch, try to I'll try to pick up a whole bunch of snacks for that night. Um, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, and I, and I do I do breaks too. like five minute breaks every hour or whatever, so I can, and then also and then also meal breaks every few hours or something because you don't want to get burned out because because it's much better to have a 15 minute 20 minute break and go eat or whatever rather than be like on stream because that's that's what nobody wants to watch really yeah but yes yeah. please go visit nakiato and myself and myself's channel myself's channel oh, um for okay. extra life um or anybody really that's doing extra life because when you donate you donate to extra life and you're all donating to towards children that are in hospitals which I was a part of when I was a child too, so it's kind of nice to be able to finally get back to the hospital that helped yeah. me. Yeah. Oh man, I'm just gonna say this right now. The only reason I decided to do this, and I decided to do this last night, that's when I actually signed <laughs> up for it. Uh, I watched the video that they had linked on their on the web page, and I cried like a little freaking girl sitting there at my desk, a grown ass man sitting at his desk just in tears. I was, just, yeah, no, that's. That's a good thing to do. Uh, anybody that that uh, appreciates children or likes children or anything like that and uh, wants health care for them, uh, wants them to get treatments and all of that, uh, Extra Life is a fantastic program. I'm just yep. going to say that right now. Yeah, so. But yeah, we, uh, we're hitting a point where we should end this. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I am Lemons. Nakiata. Terracon 4. Soup. And this has been a f- f- um, Into the Melding, a file file podcast. We will see you guys all next time. Later, guys. Uh, thank you for joining us this week, Soup. soup. Superior. Yeah, Soup. Thanks soup, for having me. Soup for, soup for uh, best, best um, guest of the week. <laughs> and don't forget, <laughs> hashtag <laughs> fucking... Hashtag arena PvP. Arena PvP. Hashtag arena PvP. <laughs> arena PvP at file file the game. Is it, is it just at file file or is it at file file the game? Uh, it's at Firefall. It's at Firefall. Yeah, yeah at Firefall. Just, everybody just go at Firefall and hashtag I mean, PvP. Just spam right. it to, to their inbox. They'll, they'll get the message eventually. All right. You guys all have a great day. See ya. See you guys Saturday.